In this video, Tina hits a skip. <laughs> Mark makes this noise. Oh. And Aaron just looks lost. I'm going to throw my drone up in the air. I'm going to pick a random garden and we are going to go and transform it for free. Right, we have pulled up. I think we found the house, so we're gonna go and knock on. Fingers crossed someone's in, so let's go. So I think this is the garden. Well, I think this is a house anyway, so let's go and have a look. Which one do we press, the ring or the... Uh... We'll go that one and the ring, two at once. First time I've done this, I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, hang on, I can see movement. Ooh, we're on, we're on. I love, this might be a bit of a weird one, but we do a social media channel where we come and landscape gardens. Oh, there you are. Oh, <laughs> yes, that makes this easier. Right. Um, I was wondering if we can come and do a bit of work in your garden. We've just picked a random garden in the kind of area and uh, we thought we'd come and see if we can do anything for you. What's the catch? Nothing. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe like it on social media. I'll tell you mates about it. That'd be enough for really? me. Yes. I mean, it is a mess. Well, let's go and have a look and we see what we can do. Sure. Yeah. Shall I meet you around the back? All right. Yeah. Oh, it's open. Oh, wow. So first of all, thank you for inviting me into your beautiful garden. Now... <laughs> <laughs> so as you can tell, it is a work in progress. So we, we did have a plan. We do have a plan for this. Yeah. Um, so we plan to tidy up the patio. We wanted to make this area here a seated area yeah, yeah. and maybe like a pergola up there yeah, yeah. Um, and that. eventually, you know, make it all nice with grass and plants. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, whatever you can do in a day, I'd be... Uh... Nearly fell then. <laughs> so if we say we tidy all this area up here, yeah. yes. you want a pergola up here yeah. and then we can tidy that area up right there, yeah? Perfect, yeah. So all I'd like from you really is to go indoors and don't look until we're done. Brilliant, I can do that. <laughs> is, that is that okay? Amazing, um, what a great Tuesday. I need to now go and get some materials to make this job ha happen. I need to assemble my team. So we've got Tina, Aaron, and Jack, and Tom on the camera, and me. So there's, is it five? Five, not very good at counting. So I'm now gonna crack on and go and get some materials. I'll speak to you when we're back and set up. Shut up, Mark. Come on, love. We're on a timer here. <laughs> <laughs> the morning was off to a flying start. With the wood unloaded, we could get cracking straight away. Look at Jack on his own. Go on, Jack. Yes, Jackie boy. Go on, showing off now. Now what we need to do, now everything's unloaded, is start to get the chop saw set up and then mark out where our legs are going for our gazebo, pergola. Once all four corners were marked out, a delivery arrived. Now apparently, this, you've just seen me open the box. Now, setting this machine up is quicker than opening the box it came in, apparently. So let's find out. <laughs> hey, look at that. Even though the clock was ticking, the team was making headway with the pergola. The first few posts were going in and it was starting to take shape. Meanwhile, just behind us, Tina wasted no time in refreshing the main patio, making it look brand new. Now that almost all the posts had been installed, it was looking like the team was right on schedule. Yeah. It was all hands on deck for the team. Time was still ticking as the frame was cut to size and wood preserver was added. Everyone was doing their part, including Aaron. Right, bit of an update. We've got a problem. So I need some supporting beams for this, but I've not got them and we have literally got no time at all. It is currently two, two, 10 past two, nine past two. Uh, and we've got three hours to finish this project. Tina is not getting on as well as she thought she would on the patio, it's taking a little bit longer because the joints are thicker, it's soaking up more grout. So she's about halfway through. So we are hoping we can get this done before Tina gets that patio done. So then we can slurry adhesive all the slabs back down and we can get this grouted and then work on the next bit of the garden. But we've got three hours left. Although three hours seems like a long time, there was still so much to be done. 
Tina put in a shift grouting the main patio, and before long, it looked incredible. The next hour went by in a flash, and then we encountered a small problem. Bit of an unfortunate situation. Mark needs to leave to get more supplies. The supplies that got dropped off have been put at the end of the driveway, so I've got to move them. Otherwise, what can you do? I swear I'm going to have a hernia one of these days. 14.55. 14.55 it is now. Three. So that means we've got two hours left, but the pergola is pretty much there or thereabouts done. Just got to put the side pieces in. I was going to go out and get them, but someone's bringing them here, which is going to save us time. Now, once we've brushed this off, Tina can get on to slurrying adhesive, adhesive, tile adhesive, the Indian stone back down. Can I down. just come here to do everything? You've done a great job, love, but you, you know we're a team here. There's no Are you iron joking? team. You've done There's no that. iron team, but there is an individual brilliance. And there isn't Tina. <laughs> yeah. And that's my name. <laughs> uh, anyway, so it is now quarter to four. The time is falling quicker than a lead balloon. So now it's time to install the core edging. Now, core have sent this out to me for a previous job, and I've got some left over. So a big shout out to them because I've not paid for this. This edging allows us to map out the pathways that we want to put in. They link together at each end, as Mark will explain now. So I'll quickly show you how these go together. And I literally just put my long nose plier through and I grab the end of the nib and I start to pull it through. And then I do the same with the next one, like so. Then all I do then is get a brick on this side just to hold it and then tap it in with a hammer. Now that the pathways were being laid out, it was time to sort out the other section of patio. Not only did Tina tackle the first patio, she also made sure each slab was laid on the second section as well. So, update time. You can see we're not done, and it is currently half past five. So I'm very sad to tell you that we failed. Although, dun dun dun, we're gonna come back tomorrow because I feel like we are nearly at the end and it's probably, I'm not going to say how much time it is tomorrow because I'm always wrong, but we have hit some snags and one of them being that this kind of where we're laying now is on an old Victorian road. Now, as you can see, when I put my spade in, that is absolutely solid. Are you all right, love? No. You having a nice time? <laughs> have you had a nice time today? It's hefty. You've smashed it, haven't it's you, heavy. love? My patio looks mega. It does look mega. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll see you tomorrow. The homeowner Lynn very kindly let us come back for another day and this morning we brought soil and lots of it. After five tons, everything was coming together. Now it is time for me to start doing my favorite bit. I know I can't say it very well before everyone mocks me in the comments. Plants. What do you think, Bon? Do you like it? Don't sit on it. The family had decided to buy lots of the plants they wanted in the garden, which was a popular choice for everyone, including Button. This is my idea of a good day art. Ugh, so strong I am. Oh God, I don't want to get wood in my shin. So we're just putting the bark in. Do you want to carry this on, guys? And I will tell the people that are watching right now where we're up to. We are on day two. We are almost complete. Tina has finished slurrying all the slabs back down. The ones from yesterday are solid. We have just glued them back down. We're gonna grout it. And then at least the lady and gentleman and family can use this space wisely this summer because you probably tell from the beginning part of the video, it didn't look that great. Hmm. No, don't attack me while I'm back. I'm trying to put bark in here, girl. You're very crazy. This is not David Attenborough and these are not wild pit bulls. I know they look like it. This was beginning to look like a garden that this family could really enjoy. We just need this second path putting in, a quick patio jet wash, and then some last finishing touches with the time we had left. And just like that, we are done. Thank you so much for watching. It does mean a lot if you have kind of watched it this far. Now, if you don't mind, please do tap that subscribe button. It really helps us out on creating content like this. And as I've said previously, the more people that interact with our page, they are the people that we are going to be picking for the next kind of free renovation that we are doing. I think it's best that we give back to the people that have supported us the most so far. And if you're a company, 
and you want to sponsor these one of events so we can do more of them, please just message Jack at largestripesandhedges.co.uk. His email will be in the description for any kind of brand deals because the more brands with deals we can do, the more we can do of this kind of production. Let us know what you think of it. You're probably going to be thinking, I want Lynn's reaction. I'm now going to show you. I'm not going to be in it because I've got shoots. I'm going to leave the cameraman here to film her reaction. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Oh my God. Wow, it's amazing. I can't believe this has been done in less than two days. It's quite surreal. I'm quite embarrassed in that um, I was picked as the terrible garden to do over, but it's worth it. This is amazing. Thank you.